Witcher has gotten increasingly worse, and in an attempt to milk viewership for Cavill's last season, they decided to split season three up, and now that the final three episodes have released, fans are furious over their subpar writing, mediocre finale, and major changes to source material. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So starting off with this Forbes article by Eric Kane, a pretty good journalist in my opinion, one of the few, The Witcher Season 3 Part 2 review, Henry Cavill flees a sinking ship, and after watching it and seeing the contents of the kind of finale of the season, I can see why Cavill decided to jump ship. Of course, part of that was he believed he was going to be playing Superman again. And it is so heartbreaking to know that he's not, and he might have given up this role primarily because of that, but we do know on set he was like a Witcher Bible, he really cared about the source material, and as someone who cares so deeply about the original content, I can see why he wouldn't want to be affiliated with this project anymore because they are going in a vastly different direction. And between the two articles I'm going to reference, it's going to have some spoilers and point out what is different. But it says, we all deserved better. Henry Cavill deserved a better series to lead than The Witcher. Fans of the games and books deserved a show that tried harder to succeed as an adaptation rather than push the political agendas of its creators. I have said this from the beginning. Uh, you know, season one has been pretty well liked by fans, I'd say. It's got like an 85% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is really good. Um, and I did enjoy season one, but it definitely felt going into season two like they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't care about the material. They just kind of were doing whatever they felt like. And with season three, it has gone in such a wild direction. I don't even think you can call it The Witcher anymore. It says Cavill's co-stars deserved another season with Cavill as the star, given how glowing they've all been about his dedication to the role and story. So now that the final three episodes are out on Netflix after an inexplicable delay following the show's worst episode of all time, uh, it's finally released. It says uh, a few different things about the about the episodes. I'm not going to read all of this, but basically, there's a ton of fighting. Uh, they decided to change conflicts between the um, you know different regions for all this show's pop politicking. They've done a very poor job at communicating the sides of this conflict and how there are mages loyal to the Northern Kingdoms and mages loyal to Nilfgaard. The conflict is originally between these two factions, but soon a conflict of the Scoia'tael shows up, much fighting ensues, and much of it is quite horribly choreographed. I don't know why they, they clearly decided to change uh, choreographers in this, but they did, and the show has just gotten so increasingly worse. It's like even the fight scenes aren't good anymore. Uh, the writing isn't good anymore. The, the costumes have gotten a little bit better on occasion, but most of the costumes are bad, like in episode one of season three, where it looks like Yennefer went to Old Navy and decided to get a top and a skirt. Ugh, it just infuriates me to no end. But it says, turns out the most powerful mages in the world are actually not very powerful at all, and a group of scrappy elves with bows is more than a match for them. I'm so confused. Confused. This makes me so angry because there shouldn't be anybody who could beat the mages except for maybe witchers, um, but they are the most powerful mages in the world. You would think that scrappy elves with bows wouldn't be able to defeat them, but oh geez, here we go. They did. It is just so frustrating to see them make dumb changes like this. And it's like in episode one of season three, how Geralt could have killed the main antagonist of the season, but he decides not to. He just cuts his hands off. That is not Geralt in any way, shape, or form. This guy, this mage, has already caused so much chaos in season two and going into season three. Geralt would have for sure killed him, but he spared him, and it just, it didn't make sense. These people just don't know what they're doing. 
It also points out Geralt's wounds, and his wounds don't look terrible. We should have seen his arms crushed, his chest caved in, his body bludgeoned into the sand. Yeah, he took a lot of damage and had very, very minimal injuries. He sent to Dryads for healing, though in the end it's Yennefer who shows up to heal him, which I'm fine with. I am fine with Yennefer stealing the show, taking the day, but... It just still is kind of random. It's not the idea farewell for Cavill, and it's a strange missed opportunity to use disfigurement and powerful healing magic to change his appearance and introduce Liam Hemsworth's version of Geralt. I have said this from the very beginning, that they were going to do something, like they were going to have Yennefer magically heal a wounded Geralt, and it was going to be like a different version of Geralt because the magic ended up changing the way that he looked. We all thought that's the direction that they were going to go in, but no, instead at the very very end, Geralt has this giant fight, and then him, uh, Yaskir, and this new elf character that absolutely nobody cares about, decide to take their horses, stand beside them, and walk into the mist of the forest. So it's basically like a walking into the sunset moment. And I just don't know how they're going to make the transition in the next season. We are going to see some very random flashback that shows like, oh, five months ago, Geralt's got in this really big fight and he ended up, you know, having to be changed around. Or it's going to be something very random. It's going to be like a very quick flashback because it's meant to be, oh, you're not supposed to notice it. At least that's the way that this ending comes across to me. And I have seen other people kind of speculate in that general sphere that they're probably just going to show a quick random flashback. Um, maybe they'll end up having Cavill for the first episode of the next season to kind of transition, but we have no clue what they are doing at this point. And when the showrunner said that they had this big send-off for Cavill's Geralt, all they had him do was walk into the mist. That's not a big send-off. That just leaves so many questions that we don't have answers to and we won't for probably two years. I also wanted to reference this article from Tom's Guide that says, A flawed season gets worse. I wish I could untoss my coins. In the pros, they list are all of the main actors, which I do think did a stunning job. Some decent monsters and Yaskir is still fun, but the cons are the various secondary stories feel uninspired, needed more cavil, ending feels completely abrupt, and needs previously on introductions. This show is a mess at this point. It is sad, but they really did turn it into like a B to C grade Game of Thrones with all of these like secondary stories and the political drama that honestly doesn't make a lot of sense because it's very, you know, mashed together. Um, and I do think that ultimately, you know, it's called The Witcher. We needed to see more of The Witcher. We needed to see more of Geralt. And it's just sad to know that this is Cavill's final season, that we're not going to see him in a season four. But honestly, I don't think that the show is going to survive anyway, even if he was The Witcher in season four. I just don't think that they are going to be able to bring people back to this. I mean, judging by the scores, people are not happy. 76 critic, I don't usually trust or enjoy the critic scores because they're usually wrong. And a 22% audience, it really does deserve the 22%. They made drastic changes from the source material. They are recasting Cavill, and we have no clue how they're going to do that at this point. And they really are turning it into the Siri show. And Siri is a very important character. A lot of the books, yes, do focus on her and her story. But at the same time, it's called The Witcher for a reason. Geralt is still a very important character. And clearly, uh, Henry Cavill's Geralt was the reason why a lot of people even wanted to watch this show and, of course, play the games. It's just sad to see what they've done. They clearly don't know what the hell they're doing. And I have no hope and no faith that season four is going to be good. I will, you know, give it a chance because I want to see how they're going to do the recast since they really didn't give us an ending or a reason or really an explanation on how it's going to happen in this season. But this show is a mess. It did not get any better in part two. Honestly, it got worse. And uh, yeah, people are very furious at it, rightfully so. This show is just terrible.
But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.